Hey guys, welcome back to CW Aqua Hobby. If you'd like to see videos on albino neon tetras, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I've currently got a few of them, and I'm planning to bring a lot more in, so stay tuned. As you might have guessed from the thumbnail, all my neon tetras are dead. Well, not all of them, but 10 out of 11 are dead, and I have a feeling that the last one won't make it. If you saw my setting up a neon tetra tank video three weeks ago, you would have seen that all my neons were doing fine. They were swimming well and eating well. But a few days later, I was struck with my first death. I thought to myself, okay, one death should be no problem, since the rest of the neons were doing well. But again, a few days later, another one died. And from here, they kept dying one by one each day. Soon, I realized that they had neon tetra disease. Neon tetra disease is caused by a parasitic organism known as Pleistophora hyphosobriconis that feeds on the host fish until the fish is dead. This disease is spread when fish eat other dead fish or from eating live foods such as tube effects worms. This disease is very unfortunate for all fish keepers because there is no real cure and sadly fish aren't smart enough to know not to eat dead fish. There are a few symptoms of these disease. One of the most obvious signs that your tetras are infected is that they will be covered with white bumps or cysts. Another symptom is that your tetras may start to lose color and become very pale. This disease may also cause your tetras spine to become curved which will drastically limit its swimming ability. As the name suggests, this disease does affect neon tetras the most but that doesn't mean other fish won't get it. Other fish that are susceptible to catching this disease include angelfish, barbs, and rasboras. Websites and articles say that the only fish that shows resistance to the infection is cardinal tetras. But I do not believe this fact because I have heard of people's cardinal tetras getting affected by this disease. The best thing to do when facing this disease is to euthanize your fish because you want to stop other fish from eating your dead fish. I, however, did not do this and all my fish started dying one by one. If you've encountered neon tetra disease before, let me know in the comment section below what it was like for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I post videos every week. Thank you.